Hello everyone, welcome to iExam Week. This is Vidhika, I am law faculty here. There are many aspirants who wish to prepare for banking exams, especially for specialist officers. And today we have one such aspirant, Neveta. She has recently cleared IBPS SO law officer exam. Thank you Neveta for, getting, for giving the time in order to come to us to share your story. Thank you so much. And Thank you for having me here ma'am. And a lot of congratulations for clearing this exam. Thank so, you. So, uh, Niveta, can you introduce yourself to the students? Uh, I'm Niveta. I've done my graduation in BALLB honors from Chennai, uh, Tamil Nadu Dr. Ambedkar Law University. Uh, uh, since my graduation, I've been preparing for uh, several competitive exams. And IPBS also had written already, but I couldn't clear pre- uh, mains last time. And this time, I've made it through. Okay. So, Niveta, how did you prepare for this exam? What was your approach and how did you thought about this exam? Uh, uh, it, w- it was suggested by my friends like uh, to try even uh, legal exams I was, uh, since I was preparing for other exams also. Um, initially, I started with self-preparation only. Uh, only during prelims, I realized that we need some guidance. So I enrolled in I, I, I enrolled uh, in I exam B course. It helped me a lot, uh, especially for reasoning and all uh, with the help of I exam B. I was able to crack it and I also watched uh, several video courses or the YouTube videos to get the basic concepts uh, correct. Uh, okay. That's how it started. Okay, uh, so about prelims, there are three subjects. So how did you prepare? And especially for reasoning and GA because law students have a lot of difficulties in reasoning. Even I was, uh, it was felt uh, difficult for me also uh, a reasoning part but somehow I, I was there was only one thing on my mind I took a clear the cutoff so I was good at English so I knew that I would be able to clear the English cutoff with the better marks and also current affairs I read uh, newspapers regularly and also follow a uh, monthly current affairs and make sure to revise every 15 days once so I was able to uh, be consistent with current affairs and uh, English part and reasoning and I was trying to, every day I used to practice for at least two to three hours to make sure that I will be able to clear the cutoff for prelims. Okay. And what about means? Did you prepare for means after the prelims or have you started uh, beforehand? Uh, I did cover a few important topics like contracts, constitution and all uh, even before prelims. But then uh, majority of the portions, almost 60% of the portion, portions I started only after prelims. But then we shouldn't do that, actually. We should have been prepared at least 80% before prelims. I realized it only after prelims. Okay, uh, a lot of pressure. Syllabus okay. is vast, so okay, it should so be better. Uh, there are about more than 40 acts to prepare for the means. So uh, did you do any selective study? What was your approach for means? Uh, I used most of the I exam B courses, uh, the gist of uh, I exam B PDFs. And also uh, barracks. I literally relied on barracks most of the time. I just understood what the acts are about and made sure that I'll be able to answer the questions. There were a few acts I did not uh, study at all. Uh, I knew that I shouldn't be on the negative side. Like I shouldn't leave marks on the negative side. And that's how I somehow managed to finish all the important acts first and then revise it again. And then I went on to another new, uh, new acts and whatever was left out. Okay. My mains went. okay, that's great. And what about your interview? How was your actual interview? Uh, the, uh, I had mock it, uh, mock interview at I exam B. It helped me a lot. Like I wasn't covering uh, most of the portions. I studied those portions within those two days. Actual interview was completely different actually. Uh, interview was delayed for about four to five hours. So there were only professional questions. They were very professional and questions were uh, law knowledge, they were testing the law knowledge. Oh, yeah. so, so you were telling about the professional questions mostly related to law. So what kind of questions were there? There were questions about uh, the documents to be filed for eviction uh, regarding rental agreements and also uh, regarding uh, there were no general current affairs but then related to legal current affairs uh, recent judgments and my opinion on it. It went on about for about 15 to 20 minutes and uh, I couldn't answer a few of the questions. I could answer a uh, few questions well. Okay. And it was appreciated. Okay. Uh, Nivita, any other further points of guidance to other aspirants? What 
to do what not to do what to be avoided which you think you encountered in your preparation uh do not stop preparing after the notifications come maybe you could have start uh, at least a month or two months before uh, the notification comes at least for mains there are there are several ads nearly 30 to 40 ads that you have to study within a period of one month so it will be better if you would have started earlier and for interview also interview is not that easy you'll have to keep in touch with the subjects for law graduates uh since i was in doing that like i realized it at later point that i should have been in uh touch with the subjects also for interview um and regarding current affairs this it's very important uh for general awareness like make sure to revise at least once in 15 days so that uh, you know where you stand at uh, uh the current affairs part and like prelims once you clear the cut off and you have the sectional cut off you'll be clearing it and for mains like it's competitive and you'll have to start preparing a little earlier right uh that was really some points which the aspirants can use in your preparation nivetha i am once again uh, congratulating you wish you all the luck for your future and i hope you do well now you have got your aspired job and wish you all the best thank you ma'am thank you thank you for having me here thank you sir